What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Nobody the Turnaround. The game has finally hit early access. We are going to get ourselves into what is probably one of the hardest survivals out there. And what we are surviving in is the urban jungle. We're going to the undergrowth of the city with nothing but hopes and a dream. We're going to the first story mode here called Debt Trap. Your father got stuck in high gambling debts and ran away, leaving your family behind. After being harassed by debt collectors several times, your mother got sick and was admitted to the hospital. As the eldest son of the family, you had no choice but to leave your younger sister at home and take care of your mother. And it was time for you to work hard and pay off all those debts. Yo, kid, you know you owe me money, right? Your deadbeat dad's on the run, so the debt is now on you. Don't you play dead, I know you're there. Township Public High School, sophomore year, class one. Did I get it right? What do you want, you fucking fucks? Heh, <laughs> looks like somebody has a younger sister, eh? Chillax, with civilized people. Fork over the 10k you owe and all is good. I don't have that kind of money. I know, right? You need time to make it. I'm nice enough to get you a grace period. Pay up in a month? There's an interest, of course, a hundred a day. Before you say it, this is totally legal. That the loan has your whole family's names as its co-signers. We had no idea he was gambling the loan away. None of my damn business. The debt passes down. You bolt like your dad, your sister's on the radar. Might as well hand it to her. Girls make money easy. Catch my drift? Shut the fuck up. Don't you ever touch Yao Yao. Or I'm gonna fucking kill each of you. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just pay your debt and we won't have any of this bullshit. Wait for a bit. No message from the loan collectors. Conversation is still unnerving. You fight against the urge to call Yao Yao. Yowzy, where are you? Oh, <laughs> at the pharmacy? What happened? You sound totally weird. Don't worry about me. The, has the debt collectors bothered you recently? Oh, you mean them? Nope, they've been leaving me alone since last time. Last time must have been an ordeal for her. It's all my fault. So sorry. Don't be. That bastard's fault. Bastard AK. Alright, enough of that. How you been? Uh, doing great. Outsmarting every trouble that comes around. How about healthy as a horse? What do you ask? We got traits hunk. So as you have discussions in this game, your actions, all your actions have consequences. Every single one of them. Even what you just say on the phone. So that just gave us a trait of the hunk. So we'll go see what that is. We don't want you to fall sick when mom is getting better, do you? No worries. I've got the city when mom's at least able to walk again. Then let's work out a way to pay that stupid debt. You're great. That's awfully sweet, you know. Uh, whoever you're going to date doesn't deserve you unless he's maybe as awesome as I am. A superhuman bread earner. <laughs> Acrobat? Okay. Dude, you're full of yourself and then some. Oh, gotta go. Laters, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, I know. Take care of myself. Cautious. I, I want to try and be like a healthy rep because your health is the most important in these games. Next stop is Longang Village. Don't miss your stop. Art in this game is fantastic, by the way. All right, we've got our basics here. So objectives, find 10K in a month. 100 a day. Just off the bus, you're approached by a middle-aged woman carrying a sign and sorts of a big smile. Need a room? Got plenty at the hostel. Share to yourself. Shared or all to yourself. It's basically next to the job center. Got lots of job seekers renting all the time. You wave her off. You learn to not overly trust strangers. No, but you need a place for the night, right? She's persistent. The sidewalk looks comfy. Kidding? It's cold at night, and of course it's not safe. Here's a deal. I give to new renters a free bed for the night. Rent a room if you have the money. Why don't you say? All right, all right. I'll take the shared room for free tonight. Yep. 
it's very important you stay the night. Yes, you can sleep on the streets, but you have a very high chance of getting sick. And even if you don't, you wake up feeling like absolute crap. All right, so we are a saveaholic, so we get plus 20 cool if uh, we wake up with more cash than we started with. Cautious gave us a chance of being injured on the job minus 10%. That's actually pretty huge. Acrobat, deft experience from jobs plus 20%, okay. And toughness. So we've got our cool. Whatever you do, don't lose your cool. Our hunger, our neatness, which is our clothes. Our hygiene, which is obviously obvious. And then our satiation, our satisfaction. It's actually just satisfaction, not satiation. Satiation, satisfaction. We got to enjoy what we eat or what we're doing. So you can see we've got some basic clothes that don't offer any benefit. And we're in a high mood. So we can also see here that we have a mood down to critical all the way up to a high mood. And they kind of go in between here. And you can see to fix our entertainment values, we can shoot balloons, play basketball, mahjong, karaoke, ring toss, darts, internet, chess, the dancing aunties, which are my favorite, billiards, dice, or the claw game. So today's trend, doing things you fancy boost your mood by 30. So good to know. And then we got like food shops all around. Profile. What was it? Respect is for. Not sure what it was trying to tell me there. And then we've got achievements for in the game. We've got social cues to learn as the story goes and food to discover as well, which is usually all the street vendors. Ni hao. A pretty girl greets you the moment you walk into the job center. How are you doing? Interested in vocational training? Pardon? We're a non-profit vocational school offering courses like cooking, welding, and automotive servicing. These jobs are in high demand with decent pay. What does it cost? Practically no cost. We're covered, we're covered by the government. There's a scholarship if you pass the entry exam. Pretty much covering the entire tuition. You can take the exam now. All right, I'll take the exam. All right, the exam is the same be as before, and it's actually an exam. So get your math skills ready. Working our way from the top down, one minus two, negative one. The absolute value of one minus two is one. Because it's because it's negative one, and then the absolute value is one. One times two is two times three is six. 36 divided by 4 is 9 divided by 3 is 3. 5 plus 5 times... So 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Fill in the blanks. 1,111. If you cut off one of the angles in a triangle, how many angles will be left? You'll have 4. You'll have a rhombus. Chickens and rabbits put in the same cage and 30 feet could be seen. If there are five rabbits, how many chickens? Five rabbits, four feet, 20 feet, 10 feet left. There's five chickens. Find X, 5X plus X divided by five. So you would divide by five, but then you'd also have to multiply by five to get the, rid of the divide by five. So it'd be 5X plus X divided by five equals 52. So it's irrelevant because it's the same thing, essentially. They're they're opposing. So x is 26 because the simple equation is just x plus x equals 52. Short answers. Please type. Hey, you know what's funny? Uh, in the demo, one of the questions was, what was the capital of China? And that's not here anymore. That's sad. Please type the capitalized alphabet from A to Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Hope I did it right. A B C D F G H I J K L. Looks good to me. Submit. A ninety. It's not twenty six. I guess I'm fucking stupid. Um, these are real questions from a real employment test. What is this then? I could have sworn it was just X plus X essentially. Well. I need to do X times five and then X divided by five, but those cancel out, right? Because if X, if mm, no, I guess that's not true. All right. No. Okay. Leave me a comment down below. All the, all my math guys out there. I use Excel. 
And we don't we don't use the X's. It's not a real number. All right, so we got that. So now we can go over to the job board. He's thinking about meat buns. I love hearing the voices now. There's a crowd next to the bulletin board. New boy looking for a job? Go check the board. Gig jobs are all there. To make 10k a month? Gig jobs are basically my only hope. The gig jobs, I mean those paying by the day. You did take a look. The only thing you're qualified for, it seems, is moving bricks. Anything other than moving bricks? Not yet. Leave your number and I'll call you when something comes up. All right. So we're going to take the short labor brick mover. So you can see here when we take this job, manual, your landing speed is dependent on our toughness. So we can move faster during this excursion with toughness. We'll get a base fee of 90 yuan or RMB, which is like, that's probably like 10 bucks, maybe give or take. I'm pretty sure like 100 RMB is around 14 bucks. Um, a manual bonus, we'll get some, we'll get a bonus for doing manual mode. And then from this, we'll get some toughness. Our relations could go up or down. We'll get, we'll lose hygiene and, and neatness with our clothes. All right, so WSAD to move, F to pick up bricks, follow the icons. Let's go. So we've got flat bricks. I can see 20 or something. I'm pretty sure that's the flat bricks here. Here we go. Okay, I can take the ones with the holes in it. These, oops, I got stuck. This one. So you can see each of these have a dollar amount next to it. That's the bonus we'd get for it. So I'm gonna do this one, the flat bricks and these ones. Two at a time, 10 at a time, 20 at a time. Sometimes you're gonna need to split them up. For instance, like this could have said 10 flat bricks. And if that was the case, I would only be able to put, ten, I can only pick up 20 at a time every time, but I'd only put 10 in. So I'd either have to be able to evenly distribute them somewhere else, or I'd have to go back and put those down and then grab more elsewhere. Like here, for instance. See, I am gonna take this because that's a decent deal seven bucks of a bonus instead of like three. Oh, and see look perfect timing so it just came down with one right here for me so now i can put the other 10 down that's a really convenient thing dump that in here you can see i have 10 in my hand left bam ski so all the jobs that i've seen at least that were available in the demo have a manual mode to them and in the manual mode you'll always get a bonus you can do an automatic mode which has no bonus but you can see here, because I'm fucking killing it right now, that our bonus is uh, about 30% of what it what it would be, or an additional 30%, I should say, than if I did it automatically. Obviously, that's not available for you for your first attempt. You have to do it manually. The game's kind of teaching you here. We moved eight piles, though. Love this part. You've wasted four long hours of heavy lifting time to get your pay. The foreman addresses you with a half glance and pushed over a tiny pile of tattered money. And that was that. The petty wage doesn't even deserve counting. Turns out it's 30 yuan short. Hey, this is 30 short. Smirk. <laughs> I've seen enough manuals to know that I'm about to get fucked up. <laughs> New boy on the job. It's in the rules. The foreman takes a small cut in the first pay. Processing fee. He's not even looking in your general direction. And how many shifts did you cover? One, I'm already given a discount, or you won't have nothing left. Arguments attracting the attention of several guys closing in the air around them. Spells bullies. What? You can't just exploit new workers like that. Saying that, you try to grab him and shake 30, 30 you want up his gloating body. I make the rules and I sure fucking can. For me, kicks you right in the belly. My mood is now down 50. His minions fall upon you before you regain your breath. <laughs> it's time for an ass beating. And that was the first day. Oh, I, I think this is the song. I get the chills from this. Yes. Rimhaifushambuding 
I know what they say, but it slaps. Uh Thank you. Day two. All you care about is getting through the day. Telephone call. Tonight's the deadline, boy. Morning, dear. How's the night? Not bad, thank you. And I've made the bed. Relations plus five. Who did that? Got in a face? Yeah, a couple of bastards on the construction site. He gives an understanding nod. Maybe she's seen this a lot. You take good care of yourself, will you? There's nasty people out there. I know they're kind. I always settle my scores. Uh, ruin my mood. Job center's now open. You might want to go there early. Head west or take a stroll in the park if you don't feel like it. Poor boy. Are you staying here tonight? Yes or no? Just don't sleep on the sidewalk, will you? Yeah, I'll take a room. So we'll take the room for the shared room. Actually, no. I'm going to spend the extra, the extra 40 so I can get the laundry facilities. It's very important for keeping your clothes clean. You can skip it every now and then. If I re recall, unless something's changed, I think it's um 30 hygiene a day. So right now we are a sorry ass. We're not even a nobody. The game's called the nobody and we're not even that. We're just a sorry ass. So we got sorry asses, nobodies, strivers, upstarts, excellence, success, and life goals. These are the success stories. So to become a nobody, we need to work for three days and make a total of 300 yuan. You want, I mean. All right, we're going to head over. We can use the rent-a-bikes. These are pretty sweet. So if I take a bike, you can go to any of these around the town. And as the town expands, we'll see more of them available. I think they cost like two yuan. <gasps> the dog. Good, it's still here. If this dog disappeared, immediate refund. No, no, no. Don't pick up the bottles. A cute dog. Pat the dog. I think it gets our coolness up. Anyone who does not pat this dog is a fucking monster. There's a grandpa with a chess set waiting for a worthy challenger. Says whoever beats him will get paid. Sounds interesting. I don't know how to fucking play Chinese chess. You can clean yourselves in the sinks here. Oh, that's the woman's room. Oopsies. We can clean ourselves in the sink here, but you do have a chance of getting sick. We're energized. You went to bed early last night. Wake up with 10 cool and 10% job XP. Sweet. Uh, let's head to the job board. You got to do these things early. Let's do this manually again. Maximum manual bonus. Maybe that's how much I have had. That's what I got last time. Broker fee, 10%. Hey, Mr. Ooh, we're so slow. All right, we got a bonus of 32. So we'll take uh, 81 for the base wage because she takes 10% and then we'll get that. Leveled up proficiencies. We got a skill point. So our toughness leveled up. Relations went up. I don't know who my relations went up with, but hygiene is down to 59 and my cleanliness went down by 10 more. Moods down. I got injured. Son of a bitch. Confirm. We have to spend a little money to get our injury taken care of. Hey, it's Mr. Cow. I remember you from the demo, sir. Hey, man. This guy's the foreman. Excuse me. I left my wallet home. Could you let me eat Kuai? Kuai. I thought this was a Yuan or an RMB. What's a Kuai? I looked it up. It seems to just be the Yuan. It's just another name. There's, so there's three names now. I just learned about Kuai. There's Kuai, the Yuan, and the RMB, and I don't know how to interchange them. I think they're all, I think it's just colloquial. Uh, could I lend you? Yes. Here you go. Cash minus eight. Relations plus ten. I've seen you a few times. What do you do? What a day pay job. I mean, moving bricks. Don't you know? This is the only day job here. I'm Cal, the supervisor. Nice to meet you. You have no idea what a supervisor is. It sounds awesome, though, being super and stuff. Nice to meet you, sir, Mr. Cal. 
On the drop through a broker, right? Yeah, bolt the center. Well, you can come here anytime you want without the middleman. If anyone asks, you just say you're referred by Mr. Cow. He points at the side entrance, indicating the door's always open for you. That should save you some broker fees. Thanks, sir. Don't thank me. Have a good day. I'll give you your money back next time. Thank you, Mr. Cow. So our mood is now terrible. So hourly cool minus three, which is not a good thing. If we start losing our cool, we're going to have like panic attacks and all sorts of nonsense. So today's trend is the dancing aunties or shooting balloons. So why don't we go shoot balloons? But first, why don't we have a combo meal? I'll take one for eight yuan. So we got our one satisfaction. We got our feet up by like eight. So we're pretty good now. Minus three cool an hour. Can't run and walking speed do reduced to 88%. So there are some tools we can buy here. First of all, there's the hard hat. Protect you from job accidents, which is very useful. Lucky stone. So these are all very specific to all sorts of different jobs. I'm going to buy the hard hat. It's only 20 bucks. As you can see, we got injured on our first day, which was very unfortunate. Clinic. Oh, yeah, I think she has a quest for us, too. Can you ma? Can I help you? Kajuma. The doctor comes out of the back room. That's a plaque on the desk named Mei Mobing. I'm injured. Don't worry. Some simple dressing. You're good as new. 30 kawaii and either cash or mobile. I like how I didn't get an option there. You just stole my fucking money. All right. Now we're healing. We got to wait for that to be taken care of. Is this a cobbler? Shoe repair. It is. Cool. Area under pandemic quarantine level until November 3rd is the second. So that area is going to be cleared. And I feel like that was such a well-timed thing because I'm pretty sure this demo was like a little over a year ago. So it was still not in the height, but it was still in a big portion of COVID. No clue what they're saying, but I love it. It's the convenience store guy. Hello. Buying something? Nope, just looking around the store. There's a business permit on the wall with the owner's photo. <laughs> Don't flatter me. This hole in the wall ain't no store. I can't ask him if he's hiring. We got to get our relationship up, but it looks like we can work for him. What do you have for snackums? Same kind of stuff. Okay. So the same thing as the ticket booth. So if I want those, I can come to the park. So let's keep going with Explore the City. We've got a gambling game here. Ah, park task completed. Mood plus 20. They have a makeshift shooting range in the park. Air rifle and balloons. There's no prize, but you'll enjoy shooting things. We do need to get our our mood up in today's... One of today's trends is shooting balloons. Which is this one right here. So why don't we do this? It, it'll cost a little bit. 10 shots for 5 quai. I remember this not being super easy. Ah, pink. Pink. Oh, God. All right, eight balloons, mood plus eight. Or maybe if I do that whole checklist, I'll get my mood up. Two balloons, toughness plus five, deafness. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, my God, my mood is super high now. So maybe... Yeah, maybe doing doing things you fancy boost your mood. So maybe we'll see the dancing aunties in the park in a little bit. I think they come out at, at 1,700. There's a ring toss here as well, where you can also run some Winjin cash back. Why don't we go check out the chess game? I, again, I have no idea how to play, but we'll, we'll show it to you. Got some rebar on the ground, some scrap metal. I'll pick this up. Almost two kilos worth. You get dirty when you pick up stuff. So if you have your good, like as you get further in, you're going to see we're going to have like good clothes on us and whatnot. For the Chinese chess game right here. All right, five kawaii. Take away 50. Let's see how good I am. I don't even know what this is. So 5 RMB per game, win 50 RMB. So like... Okay, that's my side. I don't know what any of these characters mean. Obviously. Oh, wait, we play on the same board? That didn't do anything for me. I do this? Nope. You can take that apparently. So this is like a the night. I can take this. Oh, I lost. 
<laughs> oh no. It's all right. As completed, task failed successfully. Oh jeez. I'm gonna have to look that up so I can learn what those characters mean and then how they move so I can maybe win a game. I'm sure there's an achievement for it. There are some achievements in this game. Stay back, watch out for the sparks. Nah, I'll just stand in them. Just yourself, mister, taking care of the whole business? If I get my relationship up, I can be a welder or a relationship boy. Okay. I'm not sure how exactly I'd get my relationship up with some of these people, but. All right. And here is the recycler. So this is where we can dump off some recycled goods that we pick up from around town. So like if we sell some junk, we can see tin cans are 0.2 RMB each, plastic bottles 0.24. The cardboard boxes are actually not that bad. Two RMB for a kilo, and then the scrap metal is uh, 341. The battery packs are some good cash. The downside is you can go to jail if you get caught because you have to steal these. So if you steal them from a, a moped and get caught, you go to jail for like five days. And when you were playing the demo, the demo wasn't quite that long. Or if you did it at like a certain part of the demo, you would just lose the game because of uh, the story progression because this is the story mode. There is a sandbox mode that unlocks after you complete the story mode for the first time. And then right now there is only one story mode available, but the developers are working on two more story modes for the final launch. I'm sure so maybe at least one of those will hopefully come out during the early access still. Couldn't imagine it wouldn't. And then probably maybe the third one will be when 1.0 comes out all conjecture, of course. All right, it's getting close to 1700. I am going to just walk around a little bit. I want to wait till um, the dancing aunties are ready because I'd like to go dance with them. Go dance with the Anjumas a bit so that way we can get our happiness slightly higher. I was walking by May's clinic again and she's asked me if I could do something for her. Here's a box of face masks. Could you take it to the vaccination booth? Sure thing, I'm on it. That'll give me something to do, so. Coming up to the boys with our face masks here. Getting the shot. There's a little souvenir. What's this? You push the box forward. Uh, Dr. Chen, right? Dr. May, the community clinic, asked me to bring these face masks over. Oh, thanks. Now hey, you put it on the table. You can't tell much of a face, just not to tell. It must be very uncomfortable. Put it on the table. Thanks. Not the best idea to shake cancer in the pandemic. Pardon me. Task complete. We got five respect and our mood was increased. That's great. Our mood is like perfect right now. So I'm heading over to the park. By the time we get there, it should be time for the dancing aunties. If not, it'll be very close. All right. And here we are with the Ajumas. The aunties occupy the basketball court every day at sundown. Their upbeat music and moves make you dance. All right. Let's go dance for the day. It's our relationship up with them too. join them. Ask them to leave at 100%. Oh, it's. You're tired. You're too tired. Yeah. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Because of this injury, this small injury, I guess I can't dance with them. All right. We'll go turn in for the night and start the next day. So, brothers and sisters, I'm going to wrap it up here. Stay tuned for the next one. So make sure you are subscribed. And I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby. <laughs>